just have sort of a general or a broader question um, that will lead into lots of little questions mm -hmm. of just how do you guys um, understand or conceptualize sexuality to be like what is it? I mean, I know there's some clinical ones. You know, the three different ma major areas of that comprise. You know, there's physical attraction, romantic, emotional connectedness, intimacy. Yeah. But for you guys, in terms of, I don't know, how, how do you conceive that? The, that it's formed or where does it come from sexuality what, yeah and what is it for you guys like what it what does it mean and then i got a lot of questions after that's that. a really good question yeah it? it's like a big one yeah just um, what does your gut or your experiences tell you you know um wow i almost feel like i can kind of go yeah i was like <laughs> i want you to say it because uh, <laughs> i I, I don't want to misstep as I answer this, but uh, <clears throat> I would say I, I, I think that my I think that my outlook on sexuality is very well. It's just kind of what we were talking about, very kind of really basic, and I just I don't like getting lost in minutia okay. and terminology, and you, you know, like I, I find. <clears throat> I find tedium and different, you know, yeah. where I, and I know some people really like mm -hmm. relish in nuance and having like really mm -hmm. kind of defined perspectives. And I'm very much more someone that's like, uh, I get a, an erection looking at guys, you know, the same yeah. thing, you know, right. like it's like, and that is ultimately for me, yeah. um, the basic core of sexual orientation is okay. if you are attracted physically right. to one gender or another, that is the fun foundation of sexual orientation. And then, of course, along with that, there is a romantic component and, you know, like... like an emotional... An emotional component, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's definitely more nuanced than that foundation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, when I'm talking to people when I'm talking to people, if I'm wondering about it, the thing I'm fundamentally wondering about is that basic yeah. question. Like, that's cool that you feel, you know, like mm -hmm. that you feel some, uh, but like deep down, let's just get real. Men, women, both, What? where are you at? Right, you know, yeah. and so. And for you, like you're saying, it mostly <laughs> at least originates at its most basic core at just sort of a physical reactive. Right. You know, very basic, very yeah. kind of guttural, human, mm -hmm. carnal, you know, just yeah. like visual, especially for men. Mm -hmm. I, uh, maybe less so for women, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, depending. Yeah. Depending, yeah. I I'm guess. I'm sure. <laughs> They're not as visually based as men. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, more yeah, emotional. Right, right. Yeah, I guess we can agree on that. In terms of origin, in ter you know, na the nature versus nurture or wherever you want to frame it. Yeah. What do you perceive? What do you feel? Both from your experience, from doctrine, from whatever informs your your thinking. Experientially, <clears throat> ah, I don't know. I haven't. You're kind of always reevaluating yeah, stuff okay. like this, for sure. Um, I guess honestly, I don't know. Mm. Uh, but my hunch is, my hunch is that there is an inborn component for sure, mm. just because there's just something. There are a lot of corollaries to you know the mm -hmm. sexual orientation just in skill sets and interests and yeah. stuff that were really truly just like mm -hmm. part of who i am yeah. and, and and a lot of um there's a lot of cor uh, correlation there's just a lot of commonality yeah. amongst the group with that kind of thing and um but then at the same time i do think that there are some nurture components and i think a lot of those for me feel like they centered with gender identity as you know within the gender identity forms within the first few years mm -hmm. and I do feel like something was missed there mm -hmm. and I actually my dad and I do have a really open relationship and he feels similarly yeah. like he oh, feels really? and I have brothers mm -hmm. so he has a basis of comparison mm -hmm. uh, and we both feel like that something was missed there <clears throat> like to the degree where what, I mean sort of on that sc spectrum of experiences like in terms of just an alien sense of alienation from him or mm -hmm. a, 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 an event some sort of emasculating event that was less traumatic that. or less that what it, so you're more the former mm -hmm. more kind of just an alienation almost an uh, like no words can, can describe it sure. and we're looking back and kind of going like what the I uh, mean yeah. 
you know, like yeah. there's no there's no precipitating event, mm -hmm. and uh, but at least that either of I, uh, either of us can identify. And of course, I'm putting words in his mouth, and I hope you know I hope that he. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know if this is exactly how he would phrase sure. it, but um, but uh, shoot, I was gonna say something. Spectrum. Spectrum. Traumatic event. Traumatic versus event versus a nuance, nuance. Sort of over time. Yeah, it's gone. Your dad. Yeah, yeah. but but you do. But you're saying yeah, you definitely f have a sense, even though you can't really necessarily pinpoint it. But you have right. a sense confirmed even by your dad right. that something. Yeah. Um, okay. And so, f based on that, then do you, uh, do you? Oh, I remember. Uh, I don't know chicken egg. Yeah. I don't know if that's resultant of the fact that I was born gay, and so there's this, you know, thing that happened because of that, and there's this disconnect because of that, or if that disconnect has somehow, I don't think it was cause, causal, mm -hmm. but it might have been influential. And sort of like you got maybe the if there is a genetic predisposition yeah. right. added to, compounded by with the, that, yeah. Uh -huh. And I don't know the answer to that. I don't even have a hunch. But to, but does, it sounds like it feels like it. again I'm not trying to put words. It sounds like I feel. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it feels like that to you. Based um, on, again, it sounds like you had conversations with your dad. And no, it definitely feels like that happened. Yeah. I just don't know which chicken versus egg. Oh. Okay. I don't I don't know where where I fall gotcha. on that, but yeah. definitely it exists. Okay. I just don't know if it was a result right. of or cause causal. Right. So. Which ultimately. <laughs> Once we get past that conversation enough, and we're like, okay, anyway, it's here. <laughs> so, yeah, precisely. What are we do? Ultimately, but, yeah. But right. yeah, I mean, it's a, obviously an important conversation to have. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And again, jump in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got anything on yeah. this? Yeah. I need a new dad. Yeah, me and <laughs> Pops. Yeah. Um, so now, now I'm going to push into the sort of doctrinal. Okay. Um, and again, this is just your feelings and beliefs. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to defend them. Uh, do you feel, what do you feel in terms of the eternal nature of, of sexuality? Because there is this slightly nebulous area in our Mormon dialogue between gender is eternal, that phraseology that's in the proclamation, mm -hmm. and then, and therefore, somehow, I'm not sure what the therefore is, the bridge that's built to, therefore homosexuality is a sin, or how yeah. you want to categorize it. Right. <clears throat> and so I'm wondering, for you guys, uh, again, what what is the eternal nature of sexuality again i know this is speculative so it's your right. spiritual feelings our own it. impressions yeah um but like are we all eternally and inherently heterosexual and some people have this you know alienation feeling from their dad which mm -hmm. triggers something and it's but it's a temporary or something mortal, would be different than that yeah or <clears throat> and then you know mm -hmm. everybody will be resurrected to a perfect body which includes perfect mm -hmm. heterosexualism or or whatever Okay, uh, I'll go first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, no, I just don't no. want to... Yeah, exactly. ...like stomp you out of the conversation. Yeah. But, um, so... I, don't, I do not personally believe that homosexuality is eternal. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I compare it to my gimp eye. Mm -hmm. it, ha it actually happens to be kind of a handy comparison because there's a mm -hmm. lot of similarity... And that it was inborn. Mm -hmm. It was an inborn condition, and um, it it's not desirable, mm -hmm. but it's not anything I didn't do anything. You know, mm -hmm. I did nothing wrong, yeah. and um, and so and, you know, from an eternal schematic, uh, I do think that that will be healed. Do I mm -hmm. think that that will be changed in this life? No, you know. I, do I believe in the the power of Christ to heal all things? I do. I think that if I were to meet him, that he possibly could, you know, extend his hand, touch my eye, and rectify that. Like in this life. You know, in this life, were I in to miraculously encounter him. Mm -hmm. um, and I do not um, close myself off to the possibility that at some point he would inspire some kind of profound thing to occur. Mm -hmm. But I mm -hmm. think that as things are proceeding forward as they are, that it will not. It's an unchangeable part of my human condition, mm -hmm. and and so similarly, I feel that will be rectified posthumously, mm -hmm. and I feel the I feel similarly about my homosexuality right. that that it it is. Uh, I, I I guess I will say that I that it was is not ideal, 
mm -hmm. but that it is existent and right. part of who I am currently, and mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. definitely a feature of my personhood. And I also think you know there are certain gifts that come along right. with right. homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I think that you, yeah, you get these certain gifts and, and wonderful attributes that come and a certain understanding, and I don't think those will be taken Dispensed away. Dispensed with. Yeah, like right. I. Yeah. I, and so it's, I don't know, kind of a... It is a little complex, conceptually. It's about also about how you choose to react to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then can cultivate positive characteristics. Right, that that's true. Yeah. We'll, we'll right. proceed with you on to the next life. Right? That's exactly yeah. right. And, yeah. I mean, <coughs> homosexuality is so deep, mm -hmm. and it affects so much of who you are, mm -hmm. that it'll just be interesting to see in... How things are all how things all end how, up. how it all ends up right. in, mm -hmm. when all is said and done mm -hmm. because it does feel so inextricable. You're saying that yeah. on the other side, it's like how do you how are they yeah push that out it is or, yeah, yeah and like what part you know like why is Josh the way that he is like he is the way he is because of all of him every his experiences right. and yeah. so to take that part of him I I just I don't know how it's going to yeah. end up. but right. I, I, And from what you're saying, it sounds like you sort of agree on the sort of doctrinal feeling or interpretation yeah, of its... Yeah, I, I do. I, yeah, I do agree with them mm -hmm. on that. I don't know how it's going to... how that's going to work. Yeah. But... And I want him to still be... Yeah. who he is. Yeah. If that makes sense, because I love him yeah. for who he is, and so, but I guess I would just like to see the parts that that bring pain, I guess, mm. to just be a whole person. Yeah. To not that you don't feel like a whole person, right. but I totally. Yeah. <laughs> to just feel totally whole. Yeah. And Congruent in the absolute, which I think is what everyone is. Right. Seeking yeah. for because resurrectionally, I, yes. yeah, like that. That there's completely perfect. a completion, like at a, a, and yeah, I think it's so.